What is up, guys, and welcome to Press Start. Today, we're pressing start on a game called Cube World, and today, I'm actually here with a guest, Wooden Potatoes. Uh, hello, hello. Hello, this hello. It's going to be very similar to another video we'll be doing soon enough. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. We've been kind of addicted to this game, have we not? Like, um, <laughs> we were supposed to be recording yesterday, and we ended up just playing all day? Yeah, we, we played this for, like... It must in total. It must have been like eight, nine hours or something. I, yeah, I, yeah, definitely around nine yeah. hours, almost ten hours, just a whole from morning to tonight, just playing yes. this game. Yes. Uh, it, it was a lot of fun though. I mean, it's it's a really. I don't even know where you want to begin, sort of explaining what we're doing here. Well, all right. I'm showing the map right now, and we basically we we walk to this town. Like so, each 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 world, there's each a biome, and you, this is like this dark part right here. This is the biome that we came through. You can kind of see like the little light road that we took to get here, and each biome has like a town in them that has like different stuff in it that you can craft and stuff like that. Right now, we're doing like a a dynamic event. Dun 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 dun. dun, dun. Yeah, we're <laughs> like kind of like Guild Wars too, and uh, these little X's, and they give you like really good loot and money and stuff like that. So we're gonna go in there. And yeah, hopefully basically. not fail and fall on our face. So let's, let's so try far, this out. So we, far, we've done castles before, but this one's a palace. So we actually have kind of... I, I, I don't know what to expect coming in here, basically. But we've been all right with most of these oh, types oh. of instances, right? Oh, are you okay? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. He does 124 damage. Whoa. I, yeah, I just got hit by 155. Holy crap. Wow, did we both... <laughs> wow, great start. Wow. Okay, we both got own. <laughs> Basically, right at the beginning. <laughs> well, um, we can show these. Wee. So, oh, when you die, to... you go to those uh, shrines. They're all over the world. They spawn all over the world. And when you get enough money, you get to get one of these gliders and kind of, like, get around a little bit faster. Um, yeah. Um, you can, like, skill them up as well. Uh, and they're, they're making me faster and faster and faster. Did you crash there? Did yeah, crash? I just... <laughs> really small height. Pretty funny. So you can have a pet here. Like the these are your class skills that you can switch, of course, and then you have your your regular skills that everyone has for their class, which is the pet master. And you can ride them. You can do the climbing, and then you can do the hand gliding if you level it up. But then you can do swimming, and then you can actually get boats. Which yes, as yes. when the potatoes was telling me, um, we actually you actually found a, a, a ocean biome, right? Yes. So like. I, I mean, I don't know how much did you want to compare this to Minecraft at all? <laughs> like, well, it, I mean, it kind of is like Minecraft, uh, but except totally different when it comes down to combat. Yeah, and like, so in Minecraft, you've got the biomes, right? Small regions that look, you know, visibly different. But in this game, the biomes are huge. They're insanely huge. Like, uh, I, I'm guessing you've already zoomed out and showed people the previous biome, yeah. how big that was, and like zooming all the way out. And okay, and so when they say an ocean biome, like there, it's a massive ocean in this game. So you can buy a boat, uh, presumably. I mean, we've not done it yet, but uh, to actually sail across these places and find like island towns and stuff. Oh, I just leveled up. Awesome. Nice. <laughs> I didn't realize I got that close. This is the guy who does a lot of damage. Help <laughs> me. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Oh, oh, uh, or just sit there and put in your points. That's fine too. That's also yeah. fine. Um, I don't know what I really want to. Hold on. Okay. Hold on. Oh. I will this help is, you out. There this is like this is playing with potatoes here. He I would, I would he sits there and, thing <laughs> and you uh, like go off the path. He's like, Ooh, oh, what's that shiny? <laughs> like I don't know, it's it's good. I've got a lot of skills that I, I don't know whether I want to go further into hang gliding and just like boost my hang gliding speed like mad or actually start working on combat stuff again. I'm really not sure. Hmm. I want, I mean, we don't have to really, you, you could do the, the uh, skills right now, the class skills, because we don't really need it right now. Well, we do need it, but we don't really need it, need it right now because we still got a lot of stuff to do in this biome. So by the time we level up a couple times, we should be able to max out gliding later on once you're satisfied with the skills that you put in to your yeah class. i think that's a good point definitely like so i've got a very basic skill tree essentially where if i put enough points in eventually i'll get some really good stealth abilities but it's taking me a while to get there because we stopped to hang glide and stuff so yeah i think you're right i'll work on that for now and then we'll go back to hang gliding later and i should show my pet so you can charm a pet by certain foods and of course if you put enough points into them you can actually ride them and they're, they're a lot <laughs> so faster jealous of that <laughs> so jealous of that that's so cool well see i don't really like my combat skills so i that's what i choose to do my 
uh, do my pet and my hand glider first. Whoa! Let's get him. He's done. Oh, so quick. Wow, that was insane. As you can see, we don't share loot, so whoever picks it up gets it, um, by the way. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, basically, it's just been, we've, like, been competing for it like mad. It's kind of fun, though, you know? A lot of people really get annoyed by that, and I think if you play games for way too long, you can get really annoyed by it. But yeah. I kind of like it, you know, for a while, at least. It doesn't bother. It doesn't really bother me as much. Whoa! I mean, if you're just being nice and not being dicks to each other, like, and if I get some loot that maybe Matt really wants, then, you know, I'm happy to give it over, and I don't really see the problem. I quite like it. Sort Definitely. of more of a shared element. Are you all right over there? No, I've, no, I've no. There's died. a lot of people <laughs> chasing me. I got one kill and I'm almost dead. I'm running. I'm running. <laughs> Thing is, on this class, I have stealth, but I can't really stealth to get away too easily. It's kind of annoying. Oh, my God. I'm dead. I'm dead. There's a lot of mobs. Holy crap. All right. Let me try to kill. <laughs> oh, my I'm poor bunny is dead. Castle. I need to, like, put my bunny back in this cage because. <laughs> all right. All right. So the map. It's like a full 3D model, as you can see here. I wanted to show it again. I don't think I showed enough of it. It's good. It the, the map is just just good, really good. Um, do you know? Do you know what I was thinking was really cool about the map as well when I was playing earlier? It's that you can zoom really, really, really far out by pressing M on that map, and then then it will change your mini map to be that scale. Yeah. And I quite like playing the game with it zoomed out like massively like that because you don't get all the minute details, but you do get to see sort of where you are generally in the region, and like it allows you to sort of get lost kind of thing. I kind of like that. That's how I was playing earlier. And also, uh, if you zoom in the map while you're in town, you can actually see which stores are are which on the map. Like you'll say in, it will give the the equipment sign, the potion sign, the regular general store sign. It's, it's really cool. Really cool. Yeah. And this is um, alpha, so it's... I gotta say, it's pretty good so far. Oh my gosh, they keep coming after me. It's because you do Kick. so much damage. That's the thing. Um, yeah, like, did we mention as well, this is all randomly generated, right? This is a voxel-based, randomly generated world. So, sort of having the map reflect specific... Wow! Woo! I, I killed... Owned. I killed... Jeez. I killed some of them. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, I need potions. I need to switch to my potions. <laughs> and this stupid dog is chasing me. Oh my gosh. Good doggy. Good doggy. <laughs> you can show off like the tab menu now then, I guess. Yeah, as soon I, I I I'm pretty sure this guy is going to Oh no, he's leaving me alone now. All right. You're on 18 health. Oh my god. All right. So, in potions for potions, you can actually drink them while you're in combat. <clears throat> If you're, if you're uh, in combat and you only have food, you can only do that while sitting down, like I was showing you earlier. Oh, oh, no, 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 no! Oh, snap! Uh, I, just I went thought back he was. The dungeon. I thought he I was went gone. Back in the dungeon, thinking that you were there, and oh, then no. I realized, oh no, you're kiting mobs like miles away. I'm yeah, coming. yeah, I'm coming now. I'm coming. Now. You're right. Ooh. Oh, there you go. I see you drinking your potion. No, no, no. That, that's not a friendly. That's not a friendly. Oh, 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 that's... oh. Come on, let's get in the face. I'm going to stun him. I'm going to stun him. No, no, no. It's the collie over here. There we go. Oh, he dropped something cool, actually. The nice thing about this, I, I can snipe from very far away. And I always like that type of stuff in gameplay. But the thing is, I am I'm don't have as much armor. I, I have decent armor compared to, to... He's a rogue, by the way. I don't know if he explained that. Yeah, I'm a rogue. Matt's a ranger. So we have different abilities. There are how many classes? Five, I think? Something like that? Yeah, about five. Or maybe yeah. more. And there's a lot of uh, different races to, to choose from as well. Maybe I'll um, have like a little slide showing And your, them. your class basically determines what weapons you can use and the skills that are available to you. Though there's some stuff that sort of transcends all classes. Like, for example, we can both learn how to climb, swim, and be good with our pets, basically. Yeah. Ooh, wow, this is my, my guy stunned them or something. All right, there we it, go. Oh, we picked up yeah. formulas now. There, there's oh, a, yeah. a robust crafting system in this game, and you can customize your weapon, how it looks. Because it's cubes, you can add cubes to it to make it look how you want to. Yeah, actually, have a look at this. Check out my weapon, yeah? I customized my weapon recently. Can you see that on the side of the blade, it's got, like, those notches that make it look a bit like a sword? Oh, yeah, yeah you're like right. Like a saw. Those are customized. I put those on there myself. And each cube you put on, they have different stats and things. Now, I couldn't see that change the stats of my sword directly, but I do believe that's an element to it. It's really cool, actually. I had a lot of fun, like, customizing mine. I'm like, oh, I've... so I've got these amount of cubes. Let's see how I can sort of add them on. It was pretty fun, man. Oh, 
Dang it. Oh, wow. I was just about to heal. <laughs> I was you just sniped by that guy. Like, yeah, right from way corridor. back there. Yeah. Oh, my um, gosh. There's going to be a lot of traps. I'd like to see if there's different traps. So there's like spike pits that come up in, in these dungeons, and they actually do quite a lot of damage. Um, if you're in a low-level area, they do less damage. If you're in a high-level area, they do more. Um, and they're really kind of... They, they add a lot. This is a weird game because it seems really simple at, at first, right? But I think for both of us, we kind of had this moment where we were like, wow, the combat's really good, yeah? Yeah, yeah. It, it first starts really sketchy because uh, you don't really have an a lot of damage compared to these guys they're always messing with you and killing you but if you if you just dodge a bit and just kind of learn and basically when you first begin the game you have to kill a lot of regular creatures mm -hmm. right like uh like hide the frogs NPCs. and the turtles and stuff like that yeah because yeah. uh it, it there's no way you can kill like regular mobs until then, yeah. let me eat some so you, food real quick. You just gotta like hide with big groups of friendly witches and stuff that can get people. <laughs> yeah, that's like what we resorted to for a good three levels or so, I'd say. In total, you know, not like one long session of doing it, but for a long time we were. Oh, there's a chest here. Do you want to open this? Oh yeah, yeah. You, they're empty in towns. I wonder whether this has got anything in it. Oh, it has to have something in it. Well, I, coming up. I hope so. And also, uh, there, there's something that you like a uh, very long. Oh. Wow. Yeah, there's the traps. <laughs> and there is a oh, formula. It's an iron shield for a warrior. Ah, uh, well, we don't need that. You can pick it up and sell it, though, I guess. Yeah. All right. There we go. Oh, the boss, the boss, the boss. Or oh. at least a mini boss. All right, hold on. Let's heal up then. I'm ready to go. I've got almost 500 health now. Jeez. What's my power level at? Oh, should we talk about the power levels and sort of how that all works with yeah. the game? Yeah. Okay, so, like, my explanation of it would be that. You've got all your various stats, you've got your health, you've got your armor and so forth. But the game as you level up also gives you a power stat. And pretty much everything in the game has got like a re the, the requirement for you to be able to wear armor or equip weapons. They all have a certain power level and you have to match that power level before you can equip it. If that makes sense? Yeah. I'm very Dragon Ball Z-ish. Like, yeah, know every level you gain that. like a different one and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. So my power now at level 9 is 29. So I can equip power 29 uh, equipment, which is cool. Okay, so we've got the boss. You ready? <sighs> also, uh, we, we do have lanterns as well. Uh, that is the light source in the game because it gets really dark outside, by the yeah. way. Yeah. All right. Yeah, okay, I'm going to go in and stun him. Ready? Here we go. Here we go. Yeah. Oh, nice, 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 oh, nice. I'm being hit by a mage. We need to kill the ads. Kill the human over here. Oh, I killed a couple of them. Uh, we're, oh, that's not, oh, crap, yeah, I dead. just got messed up as well. <laughs> Dang. Oh, he's behind me, oh my god. So it's a hard game, like, I think that you can't understate that. It is a hard game, it's kind of, um, but it's it's quite rewarding too, you know, it's very difficult to kill a lot of things, but after a while, you, we do feel very powerful now, I think, when we go back to early stuff. Would you definitely, agree? definitely. Yeah, if we were to walk back to the whole town, because we, we just walked around just, just to see what's going on, and we came here very underleveled. <laughs> Whoa, yeah. whoa, they follow us, followed us, or did they just spawn? Did they? I, I, don't, I don't think they respawn in areas like this. There is respawning, but like only in large canyons and certain, you know, like boss sections. Well, maybe they do respawn. Hmm. Maybe, because otherwise what's to stop you like clearing half of the dungeon, going back to town, and then coming back like a whole game day later, you know? I wonder if the bosses respawn. I don't think so. I think we, once we complete it, that's pretty much it, right? Yeah, but if you leave the boss alive, do the enemies in the palace respawn? That's the question. Yeah. All right, so listen, there's a mage on the on the corner around on the right-hand side here. We need to, like, give him out, okay? So I'm going to stun the boss and then turn to hit the other guy. I should be able to stun him both. Oh, okay, no, he's there. He's on the left. Can you see? All right? Left. I'm going to try and stun them both. Yeah, on the left corner. Here we go. There's also some spikes there, so be careful. This guy, this guy, this guy. Oh, yeah. yeah. They're both he's dead, he's dead. Yeah. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Uh, oh, snap. Oh, snap. I think he has... Uh... Stunned. Stunned. Oh, oh. Oh, come on, man. He just one-shots me. Oh, I don't have enough to survive in these crazy encounters. I really don't. Oh, I've got dodges, but you stop attacking when you dodge, and it feels kind of floaty. He, I don't know. He, like, spawns enemies because he's, like, some type of sorcerer or something. Oh, is he actually spawning more enemies then? Right, okay. Oh, oh! Killed my guy. Ah, oh, dang him. <laughs> Did he? I'm coming, I'm coming. 
Hang in there. Wow, that that move he does is ridiculous. Oh, there you are. Hello. Yeah, is he's he still fighting you. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go in and stun him. Oh my god. Oh, it's another one that's summoning clones, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right, killed it. And he summons enemies too. He summons. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay. Kill the frogman. Kill the frogman. The frogman is actually dodging now. What is up with that? Yeah. Well, yeah we can kill him though. A lot better. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna try and stun this guy soon. So the way stunning works in this game is they get like the the confused stars or plus signs around their head, and they'll be stunned, and then you have to wait for those to wear off before you can stun someone again. But there you go. See, I've got the boss completely incapacitated here. Oh, oh he stunned me. But I need to kill him first. Nice, nice, go, nice. Go, go, go. Yeah. yeah! Quest complete. I leveled up again. And they just oh added goodness. that in too. That quest complete thing, right? Yeah. That new patch. Wow. That, that's a lot better now. A lot of, it's satisfying to see that gold thing pop you up. You just got 12 platinum coins as well. Look at that. I've got 13 platinum coins. So that's not cash shop stuff. Oh. I didn't think that would be cash shop stuff. How oh. weird is that? Oh. <gasps> So, uh, we should currency. explain, right? This is Alpha and a lot of updates are coming out, yeah? And I'm yeah. pretty sure the, the Platinum coins are new too. Definitely. So, so we, we're not actually sure what they do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, right now. Yeah, there's a lot of unsure stuff right now. But f for what it is right now in Alpha, holy crap. It's it's actually not many bugs and stuff, right? Have you have we run into anything game-breaking well, yeah, or yeah. anything? Once you get in the game, no, we haven't seen anything. But, I mean, we had some issues just getting the server set, sorted up. Uh, you know, you have to use Hamachi if you want to play it multiplayer at the right, moment. Right, right. We had, like, a crash on startup. But, you know, those are just minor things, I think, that didn't take too long to work out. And you have to subscribe to the, that stuff being there when you when you pay to be in an alpha kind of thing. That's actually segues us quite nicely. What do you think about the fact it costs money and yet it's an alpha? Um... A lot of people ask this in the comments every time we re we do a game like this. Uh, it's, I think it's fine because it, y you gotta understand that this is like a, most of the time it's like an indie guy who's spending like two years of his time doing this and he probably needs some money, you know, like to survive and actually do updates for the game. It's kind of hard for just. You know, a a wife, a man and a and a wife team to a uh, husband and wife team to actually do this. You know, so yeah. I I don't mind it, especially because he didn't just release a crap. He he didn't release the War Z. The War Z was like completely garbage, right? Remember right. that? Well, I I played a lot of it when it first came out, and it was just really bad. It was <laughs> not working. There was nothing to it. It. It was really bad, really garbage. Right now, it's actually a lot better than it was, right? We, I was just playing it the other day. So it's actually not that bad now. But for a game oh, well, that's actually... They it, at yeah, least. they did. And for a game that's, f you know, fully fleshed out. Not fully fleshed out, but kind of fleshed out. And there's a lot of content here. We've been playing for hours. For yeah. hours. Way more than a regular game that you could buy for 60 bucks. And this is only, what, 20 bucks for me, 15 pounds for you? Yeah, yeah. So this is not War Z quality. It, th that should be a rating. <laughs> that should be a rating. It's, <laughs> it's not, not War Z quality. <laughs> this is full on, like, if you were to buy this game for, uh, you know, 15 bucks quality, I think. Way better than a lot of things you can buy for 15 bucks. It's a meal for, well, for 20 bucks, should I say, for, for my currency. But yeah, I, I think it's not too bad. I think it's not too bad, definitely. Yeah, uh, I, I think I'm, I'm inclined to agree with pretty much everything you just said. I think it, it is a bit weird when you do pay to get into an alpha because a lot of the time people try and excuse, you know, what are potentially really serious bugs and they've always got this excuse up their sleeve. Well, it's, you know, it's an alpha game. Um, and then people always counter that with, well, I spent money. And the consumer doesn't really know where they stand a lot of the time. But because this is so high quality anyway, that doesn't come into it too much. At least for us, it hasn't. All right, guys, that about wraps it up. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a like, share with your friends, leave a comment, say what's up in the comment section below. And stay visual.